The auxiliary power unit, APU, is located in the unpressurized tail cone. It is a self-contained unit which can make the aircraft independent of external pneumatic and electrical power sources. The APU may be started using the aircraft batteries, an external power source, or the normal aircraft AC power. The APU provides electrical power for the aircraft electrical system and bleed air for engine start and air conditioning. The APU has an air intake flap which, when it is open, ducts external air to its compressor inlet. Now we will see how information is presented to the pilots. In the cockpit, you can monitor the following APU parameters on the ECAM APU page. EGT and compressor speed, APU bleed, APU generator, flap position. Let's see the different controls that the pilots use to operate the APU. These controls are located in various places on the overhead panel. The APU master switch and start push button switch are located on the APU control panel. APU fire controls are located on the fire panel. For additional information, refer to the ATA 26 Fire Protection Chapter. The APU bleed push button switch is located on the air conditioning panel and controls the APU bleed system. The APU gen push button switch is located on the electrical panel and is used to control the APU generator. During the APU start sequence, at approximately 95% end speed, the APU avail memo is displayed on the engine warning display. This is to indicate that the APU parameters are normal, and the APU is available to supply electrical power and bleed air. Note. The avail indication also appears in green on the ACAME APU page. The on light on the start push button switch extinguishes. And the avail light comes on green on the APU start push button. As soon as the APU bleed push button switch is pressed to on, the green APU bleed memo replaces the APU avail memo on the engine warning display. This to indicate that the APU bleed valve is open with bleed air pressure available. Note, the blue on light also appears on the APU bleed push button switch. If necessary, an emergency shutdown can be initiated by pushing the APU shut off push button located on the external power panel in front of the nose gear bay or pushing the APU fire push button on the fire panel. In both cases, APU emergency shutdown is displayed on the engine warning display. But fire extinguisher bottle is not automatically discharged. On the ground, an APU auto shutdown occurs for a reason other than a fire or when APU parameters are exceeded. If a fire is detected, an APU auto shutdown occurs with the APU fire procedure. Automatic extinguishing is initiated. Note, there is no APU fire auto extinguishing in flight. In flight, an APU emmer shutdown occurs for the same reasons. If there is a fire, the APU emmer shutdown procedure is displayed at the end of the APU fire procedure. Note, this warning requires flight crew actions. 
there's no automatic shutdown in flight.